Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in just over a month's time, Microsoft is going to be holding their latest Build 2024 developer conference. And in regards to Build 2024, as I mentioned yesterday in a video, Microsoft Power Toys is going to be getting advanced paste with a local AR feature. And as I mentioned in that video, which will be in the end screen, this was according to Microsoft uh, and a session catalog for Build 2024, where they said Power Toys will leverage AR through the use of AR-backed APRs and on-device ML models to power the new advanced post feature. Now go check that video out if you want more info. But uh, just to focus on one or two more sessions that are going to be held at Microsoft's Build 2024 uh, conference, because they are all hinting um, to more AR being pushed into uh, the future versions of the Windows OS. Now, like it or hate it, it seems that AR, according to Microsoft, is yet to stay when it comes to um, future versions of Windows. And as I've mentioned previously on the channel, Microsoft is going to be pushing artificial intelligence uh, into Windows 11 24H2 a lot more, uh, which is this year's annual feature update which is scheduled for release, I would say, starting the end of September, moving into October, November. And as you may well know, over the past a number of years, Microsoft hasn't focused um, too much on the Windows development during their build conference. They've more favored and pushed other company products and services. And it seems that this year for build 2024, they are going to be prioritizing Windows, well, at least the AR side of things in Windows, as far as we understand it, and according to their session catalogs. And if we just head over to one of those session catalogs, here we can see designing for a brand new Windows AR feature. And for this session, uh, it's mentioned that today we're showcasing brand new features that allow users deeper interaction with their digital lives on Windows through advanced AR features. So as mentioned, there are going to be a lot more AR and advanced AR features being pushed uh, into Windows and Windows 11 24H2 in the future. And in regards to advanced AR features, another session catalog says, and I'm quoting, it says, learn about the exciting new experiences for ARM-powered Windows this year, such as intelligent Windows apps uh, that leverage rich capabilities of the NPU, which is the Neural Processing Unit, which is a hardware component, which according to Microsoft, that needs to be available in your device and on your device to be able to run a lot of these so-called advanced AR capabilities. So interesting stuff. And in regards to advanced AR, as I've mentioned in a previous video, which I'll also leave in the end screen, Microsoft is planning to roll out a new AR feature or experience for want of a better word called AR Explorer that will also be um, coming to Windows 11 later this year and as I've mentioned previously in that video um, AR Explorer is a major AR experience according to Microsoft that will separate AR PCs from non-AR PCs with a built-in history timeline feature making every moment searchable so don't get this confused with AR just being bundled into File Explorer. What they're meaning here by AR Explorer is that AR will be pushed a lot more into the shell of the OS, which means Explorer, your start menu, search, taskbar, and so on. So that's Explorer.exe, which basically means at the end of the day is that you will be able to search almost and every activity that occurs on a device using this AR Explorer but obviously they're going to give us a lot more information regarding this at Build 2024. So as I mentioned, like it or hate it, it seems that Microsoft's focus um, with Windows and their other products and services, um, AI is yet to stay. And this year they're going to be focusing a lot more on artificial intelligence at Build 2024. So uh, just keeping you guys posted. And as mentioned, Windows 11 24 H2, our annual feature update, as mentioned, if you do have the um, the hardware, as an example, NPU, I think we're going to see a lot more um, advanced AR functionality rolling out to the Windows OS. But as I get more information, obviously, I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.